Hello and welcome back to Alex Go Sailing. It's the next day. You can see the mountain over there. It's a little grey. So it's been raining all morning pretty much. It's been pretty grey. And we're just about to head off. We're not going to pop into the castle because it's extremely busy because it's a, a wet day in the UK. And that means everyone's got to do the indoor things. And that includes a castle. So. And I've already been there once, so I'm not seeing anything new. It's just Daniel, and Daniel's not too keen on it. So we're gonna wait the anchor and head round the Lizard and get back round. We're probably gonna anchor in the Helford River today. Uh, we'll just see how we go. Cook lunch on the move. So time to get cracking. We haven't even put the rudder in. Oh well. <laughs> Who needs that? Eh? Not oh, too bad. They're pretty clean. Compared to the ones we're used to. Yeah. Right. We uh are about an hour, hour and a half in. You can just see the mound in the distance, but look, big rain patch coming over there. It's just starting to rain now, so I'm probably gonna hide in, hide away inside. Because uh, that is coming. But Ryan's up over there. All we've got to do is get around the lizard, which is there. I'm tempted to stop off here, but we'll have to see what the weather is. If it's raining, I probably won't. But we're getting close and have a look. We've got barely enough wind to keep the headsail out, so we're gonna have to motor just a little bit, but I'm hoping it fills in as we get around the lizard because then we can sail back up to the uh, river, which would be quite nice. Uh, it was meant to be quite a dead morning, so hopefully it fills in pretty soon because it's meant to have already done that. Right, we're just rounding the lizard, as you can see. It's clearing out a bit. You can see some clearer skies over there and over there. That might still get us. I'm not quite sure. The wind has started to come down from here which was what it's forecast to do. We're doing nine knots at the minute. We've got almost three knots of current going with us. So we're going stonkingly fast and we've only got the headsail up. No need for the main because uh, with all the shifting wind and stuff and all of that, there's no, not much point. It's barely enough wind to hold over the headsail at the best of times. We're always smashing a bit here. Look at this. Whee! Look at it, it's washing over. I can see the smooth waters just over there. It's just because we're going over the rocky, shallow stuff. Uh, we're almost round it. There's a hidden rock just there beneath. And all of this is like shallow, rocky stuff. Um, so it's just picking up a bit. But just around the corner, maybe another five minutes or so, we should be in the flat stuff again. I'll go round and give the boat a once over. Woohoo! After this rust stuff. And then uh, we might even get the main up because if the wind's coming across, it'd be a beam reach all the way down the lizard. And then I don't know if it'd be uh, too high up into wind to be able to sail up to the Helford, but we'll just have to see. Drop the sail, uh, we're beating right into it now. Decent amount of chop out there. Uh, it says we've got, I don't know, maybe another hour or less to get in, so it's not too bad really. 
and uh, yeah, outboard ripping away. Uh, the wind is well, it's blowing 19 knots, and what we're doing, five knots into it. So it's definitely picked up and filled in, but right on the nose, just because we don't want it. So yeah. We'll be passing some quarries over here. I don't know if they still work, but some quarries. And uh, the health entrance is just over there. So, oh, there's a bit of spray. So we'll be there in a jiffy. Hi, right. we're getting in now. Look at the pretty cool looking pirate ship looking thing over there. Pretty nice looking. See where we've uh, come from. We're about five minutes from the anchorage string seats there. Looks very busy, so hopefully we can just tuck in in the shallow somewhere, because that'd be nice and easy. Oh, we'll just see how we get on. All right, we well, decided to go right at the Helford instead of right by the mouth. Daniel's gonna lob in the anchor. We're pretty shallow, so we should get a four meter tide difference here, so we should drop four meters. And I've got four meters beneath me. So hopefully when we drag out that way a bit, we'll get at least half a metre beneath me. So we should be good. Been anchored up a little while now, just about to cook some carbonara. But look at that. Got these lovely little boats sailing along too. There's a cool little cottage up there as well. Stunning. Right, all finished with dinner. Uh, I'm just gonna tidy the boat up just a little bit, but it looks amazing here. Look at this. The wind has fully dropped off. No clouds in the sky, maybe a little bit over there. Sunset. All you can hear is the birds. So it's been a good trip. Tomorrow I'll be bringing in the boat. We will explore Falmouth a little bit, so we'll do a bit of sailing in the morning. Plan is to come out about three o'clock ish that's when the high is pretty much there and then we can get the boat out of the water and uh yeah get up that massively steep hill at the slipway that could be interesting and then uh, get on the way back home all right so that's it for this episode if you enjoyed it leave a comment down below and uh, i'll see you in the next one